Hey guys and welcome back to another video. As I told you before, uh, one of the things that I would like to change is this expansion tank because it's one of those things that I don't like to watch and see it like dirty. I like to see the coolant level and so on. So I decided to install a new expansion tank. Guys, I'm think, I think I have, I'm like in the middle of the project right now. Um, this weekend I made a few things. There is a very small thing that I have to do. But uh, of course the biggest one will be the paint. That Unfortunately I cannot paint the car. I don't have conditions. I don't have my own space. At this moment I'm at my mother's house. That have a garage. At my, at my house I don't have. So I cannot paint, I will send to, to, to a guy to paint. Let's go replace this expansion tank and the coolant. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up and if you are new of course, don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. On the, in the coolant system we have a upper hose and a lower hose. To drain your um, fluid of coolant, uh, it depends what you have. I, right now I just have the eye water. You just need to remove uh, the lower hose. Uh, and drain uh, what the coolant or water what you have inside but uh, don't forget to, to have something to get the water or the coolant so the water don't go to the floor which is not cool so guys right now let's uh, add something to get the water uh, my DI water and let's go Guys, uh, one important thing, uh, never touch uh, on a coolant system uh, when the engine is hot. So guys, uh, unfortunately, uh, after I install, um, I realized uh, that is not the same part. So I will remove this, try to give it a clean for this one and send this back. Yeah, it is what it is. Till I hear him say oh. 
So guys, uh, two important things. Um, after you finish the process, um, don't forget to check for any leaks uh, that you may have because you uh, plug them and unplug the hoses. Uh, if you have leaks, you're gonna have problems, of course. So it's really important to make sure that you don't have any leaks. You can take a look while the car is running. In my case, I don't have any leaks, so it's nice. Uh, another important thing is on the next day or a few hours later, let, it, let it, the engine cool down and on the next day or a few hours later, check the level again. Um, make sure that the, the coolant is on the right level. So guys, thanks for watching. As usual, see you soon. Stay tuned.